Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we're playing some Twitch mid versus a Yasuo. Um, a little annoying because this wind ball blocks auto attacks, but and also my uh, cask, but it does not block your E. So AP Twitch, all about the the passive where you can stack uh, the stacking true damage and then your contaminate deals damage based off of that. And that goes through wind wall, strange enough. So that's pretty... Dude, it feels like this is warded because this guy's positioning is really strange. Uh, hmm. Can you get to me? No. You're pretty screwed, aren't you? It was definitely warded. Otherwise, they would have never done that. Looks like Graves is going to be able to stall a ridiculous amount of time, though. Oh, Jinx kind of rotated, but she'll miss bot wave for that. Or not bot wave, but like she'll miss like a couple minions. I'm just going to put the cast down. Sometimes you can uh, just like get the the poison tick going, and then once you have it going, it lasts six seconds. So if you get to throw your, uh, your W on top of them, you can, like, keep it running for a long time. We're in a pretty good position here. Just, uh, use my E since I had four stacks on them for some damage. Too bad I couldn't keep the stacks going there, though. That would have been really good. Feels like I'm being set up on. I don't know why. It just feels like I'm about to get ganked. Okay. Windwald super late. That was uh, pretty interesting. Maybe he was like watching another side of the map or thought that I was like throwing out my W at him, which I wasn't. I definitely will want to probably roam bot. So I want to hopefully uh, this next wave, I'm going to use my W on it. But when I use my W, it might uh, give him an opportunity to jump on me. did so that was all about the keeping the stacks going because i kept the stacks going when he flashed away it didn't matter because uh i reactivated it and he had max stacks on him so i just did like tremendous amount of damage although my wave is like really 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 bad so that kind of sucks just take the cannon maybe he also stepped back into the poison again, and it's ticking again. But of course, like, I, I want to wait for my Q before we fight this. Okay, we, we might be able to still get this guy. He's dead. Oh my god, that's really nice. Barely got enough mana to finish that guy off. So two early kills on AP Twitch. It's always very, very strong. Yeah, I also want to play AP Twitch because of this new skin. He's like Pyramid Head, but he has cheese, which is exactly how Pyramid Head uh, is supposed to be, I think. Mm, how do I shove this out without this guy just always just jumping on me? As, as badly as I want to, like, try to run that guy down, it probably won't work. But I could probably get that and then just space. It looked like he went topside last, so, like, if he comes back in like this, he... 
yeah, most likely won't jump in or anything, so we're we're chilling. Not bad. Actually, let me go. I wanted a dark seal purchase, so I kind of swapped up the path because with with Twitch you kind of want to snowball. If you don't snowball, you are quite weak in my opinion. I feel like Twitch is definitely something you want to take your tiny lead, really just like annoy people by it showing up because your camouflage ability is very strong to just appear out of nowhere and uh, secure those kills on uh, people that your team get low. Like this Jinx might be uh, someone that I can get. So I'm stealthing. I didn't get the kill though, that's tragic. The Zyra got it. She didn't mean to though, the plant randomly got it. That guy was worth a ridiculous uh, amount of gold too, so I'm a bit sad about that. Uh, Yasuo is bot. We see the Echo topside. Yeah, your Windwall doesn't block that. Although I did miss that cannon, but that was just because I'm bad. Wait, am I able to kill this guy? The thing is that, I was hoping, by the way, uh, he did finish a scuttle, but he was five. I'm like, he better not reach six because then he can use his ult. <laughs> so, it all worked out in the end. I managed to uh, secure him. Really getting the snowball rolling. My bot lane's also doing pretty good now. I don't even know how Jinx got fed in the first place considering our Kai'Sa hasn't died. I guess it's all from like Zyra deaths or something. I'm just gonna walk away from this guy. I kind of got the whole entire wave anyways, and that's all I really cared about. I really want to purchase, and I don't want to fight him when I have no mana either. You can see that your damage on your E, the EP ratio is good, but the issue is uh, until you have high EP, it barely does anything. Like, I, I, I still deal more physical damage than magic still. But of course, remember that this is also a big source of your damage too. 35 damage a second for six seconds. It really adds up. Oh, I really canceled my auto attack. Alright, so this next wave, I put down W again, expunge, and then just immediately go bot, I think. Because they are quite far up. They might see me rotate bot, but some people just don't care. In fact, it looks like they might even just kill without me needing be to be there. That guy's definitely gonna ulti. That guy's dead. This guy's gonna flash, 100%, though. I, I got her, too? Okay, well, like, I had to turn around to kill her. But... I got myself killed because of it? Dang. Oh, well, I wasn't even the person who got ultied by Yasuo, either. It's just that she walked back into my poison. and I'm like, oh shit, I know that. I, I could probably kill her from this HP. We almost have her Nashra's Tooth, though. So then our auto attacks will also deal bonus damage. You basically, you are forced to go Nashra's Tooth because if you don't, uh, it's very hard to apply your your uh, Venom onto people, so. Level 9 is huge. We might be able to uh, 
kill people when they're under leveled. I kind of just want to go. What? I don't think that NATO hit me, but okay. I don't really care about these grubs. I'll, I'm going to be real. I kind of just want to go bot. But if Graves wants to do it, I guess he will. You're dead. I, I was trying to keep him interested after the wind ball expired because I still had all of my stacks on him. I I got one auto attack for my ultimate right when the stacks were going to expire. The Echo died. My teammates killed him, so I'm super safe here. There's no way that anybody would be able to collapse on me. And then I can just auto attack this once. And then his base. We can also base while being camouflaged. Because your camouflage takes time before it activates, so if you start your base before it fully activates, you can do that. So people don't see you. And it looks like I, I looked up like win rates for AP Twitch, and they're okay. But it seems that you have to go death cap second almost every single time. You can't go Shadow Flame. So if you're wondering why I didn't buy anything, it's because Shadow Flame win rate is absolutely trash. Uh, compared to death cap. And the reason why Shadow Flame is probably not very good, I'm assuming, is uh a huge portion of my damage is true damage, and even though Shadow Flame allows you to deal damage when people get low, um, it still gives you Magic Pen, and Magic Pen is completely worthless for your poison because it's true damage. So you're you're it's just a wasted stat, I guess is the is the uh, issue. That's just my assumption of why the one raid is bad. I feel like if I go in very hard, I might regret it. Yeah, see how he canceled it finally? My uh, W. How low was that guy top? I, I imagine he must have been tremendously low because you were dominating him earlier. Okay, well, he's not that low, but he's low enough, I think. God damn it, there's a ward here? All right, I'm just going back mid. I might just base for uh, my item. Because it doesn't look like I have any angles to do anything. Echo's bot. All right, by sweeper, so we have an easier time trying to rotate around to find people on side lanes. Oh dang, you guys died. I thought you guys saw the echo. All right. Yeah, so it's gonna hit this turret, no? Oh, dang it. Man, if he did. Hello, Mr. Yasuo. Yasuo's definitely gonna go back mid, no? Oh, no, he's not. Okay. Hmm. No, I can't. Not possible to kill them there. I thought Yasuo was going bot, really? Interesting. We did see him rotating straight to you, but... Definitely is now. He's keeping behind them. Oh wait, that's Garner. I'm on the way. Oh, there's Rel here too, though. Oh, awkward. I was gonna just gonna uh, kill the Jinx, but unfortunately, the Rel kind of got into a position where I couldn't find that angle anymore, but I could probably still do it here, I think. All 
All right, I'll just flash. She's dead to that. Dude, okay. I guess my movement speed is just not important. My god, dude. <laughs> you could you have really good movement speed when you're in queue because you get more movement speed when people are near you, but Echo is just not a champion that you can ever escape from ever, so we die. Because his movement speed is uh, much better than mine. Only 900 gold for death cap though, and then we'll have a much easier time like just chucking our cask into team fights and keeping our our stacks alive. At this point, you can basically kill any squishy if you find them. That isn't something that has you know echo. I can't because I'll press R, but I could kill Jinx in just three autos and stuff like that. So very easily. Only need eight hundred more gold for my decap. Play around my Zyra for now, who is uh, trying to get control. I'm going to push out Bot Wave and then immediately rotate to help out. Yeah, we're not defending Vision. Okay, so if she dies, I'm dead. Maybe? Nope, I'm not. Thank God, man. Oh, wait, Echo's ult. Oh, really? That hit me? Okay, so you'll just trade with me? Nice. Okay, I'll take it. I don't know, dude. I think that you're like... A, that guy is a really important uh, part of their team. And I'm okay with trading my life for his. Although it would have been better if I just noticed earlier. I almost ran out of it. Felt like I wasn't supposed to get hit by that, but I did. But yeah, we kill Jinx immediately as soon as she steps up. If she overextends and her teammate's not around to save her, she just dies. And our spike point is still coming. I think decap spike is one of the strongest spikes. Of course, defensive items kind of matter a lot too, but that's okay. What should I build after the, this though? It looks like you don't build any CDR on Twitch whatsoever. Like, you could maybe go Riftmaker if you really wanted to. But it seems that most people just go for a... Uh... Can I kill you? Wait, what? Oh. His thingy. But I have decap now. I was being burned by multiple things. His passive, his items, so even though I killed him at the end, I just got ticked down on. But now is the point where we just want to team fight. So I, I could probably beat this guy side lane in the future um, because he has no MR, so I do deal a pretty huge amount of damage. And the next items will be things like Banshees and Zanyas, like even just building both. Because they both give a huge amount of AP. You just try to maximize your AP value so your your poison hits really hard. And that's about it. Easy as that. I'll probably go Zhonya's first. Uh, because Zhonya's is going to be better for dodging some of their crowd control. You killed him. I'm useless. I can't kill a tank that fast. <laughs> That's okay, though. Wait, what? What is this guy doing? Did he really think that was going to work out for him? I guess I'll just base right now. 
Oh, are they trying to do Baron? I guess I can rotate over to it just to check. This is warded the Oh no, they're definitely not on it. Otherwise, uh... They would have already done it. I'm just gonna leave, because I'm half HP, so Echo would one-shot me from this HP very easily. So let's be full HP, so I have an easier time at not getting one-shot. And now, finally, like, side waves don't need to be fixed. I keep on going sideways because somebody needs to fix them. Zyra shouldn't have stepped up until I arrived. Wow, that guy died so fast. <laughs> Holy crap. They also got a tremendous chunk on that guy, too. Windwall is down. I immediately died, but we managed to at least assist the team. What did, what did I even, did I randomly, okay, not randomly, but I guess Rel ticked me and then I immediately got Yas ulted. And that's why I'm going this, because when I finish this, then I can actually survive that kind of stuff. It's so annoying. At least we got up a couple auto attacks to assist our team, you know. Even a few auto attacks onto a few people deals a pretty good amount of damage, so. Does Skarner have MR yet? No, he has none. Not that it really matters, because a lot of our damage is turning into true damage, too. At max stacks now, because this last 6 seconds, it deals 660 true damage. And of course, uh, that's only like max stacks. Of course, inside of team fights, we're gonna try to keep that going non-stop. I might be able to get the minions through my poison. Some of them at least. My team actually just left me. The Graves is just walking straight mid for some reason out of nowhere. <laughs> like, he, he sees Jinx is right there and just left. Okay. No, it's fine, man. I mean, sometimes you don't want your teammates to survive. And it doesn't look like you do either. <laughs> okay, dude. That's fine, man. All right. I will let you guys do the engaging. I won't do it any longer. Our team comp kind of sucks at engages. I will just, if I do the engaging, I will be super far uh, away from the, the tankier people, I guess. I don't even know if I can shove out bot that's safe anymore. The Skarner might be super scary to go against. You're dead. Yeah, here's Skarner. Damn, he really does make it so you can't move, huh? He's dead. I'm just going to pick up a lot of these embers because having a little bit more CDR does go a long way on Twitch, so... <laughs> yeah, sorry, there's nothing we can do here. Maybe if Zyra was mid, she could have just pressed R on the wave to clear it, at least. Hmm. 
Really sucks losing uh, this side wave so easily. I'm surprised Echo wanted to commit that hard just to get an outer turret. We might have an opportunity to fight a better fight now. I'm just fixing this wave first though. I don't really have a good angle to catch these guys anyways. My team kind of has to do it on their own. Oh wow, you just got outplayed. Yeah, the Graves kind of dipped on you too. Graves just doesn't want to do anything except for when he's on his own, I guess. Does he die? No. But I killed Jinx. I managed to kill almost two more of them, the tankier people, and I finished way more items. So we can continue our build on uh, our defensive items. So we still, there's still hope for me to carry this. Dragon's coming up pretty soon. It's our soul, so that's pretty gigantic. It's okay. We can do this. That this is a lot of AP. Um, my E right now does <laughs> 1,200 magic damage. And my poison now does a 450 a second. I mean, not 450, 150, sorry. I don't know why I said 450. Nice, man. That's a good pick. If you just are able to reset... If you reset right now, everybody gets ready for dragon. Reset, not resetting. You're just going to stay. Uh, you want to do the Baron. Okay. I feel like it's probably better just to do the dragon. But now Kai'Sa took so long to reset that kind of influences it a little bit. This Pokin. That is a huge amount of damage to those guys. Okay. Okay, let's just uh, do the dragon now. There's no reason to kill that guy. It's kind of pointless. He might try to yoink it, I guess, but... Gonna do blue buff as well in the meantime. What? Okay, so we might lose Baron. Crap, man. What a terrible death to have. That's not good. How did she even die? She just was too far up and stepped up straight into somebody, I guess? Stall Baron. Stall Baron has multiple meanings, whether it means stall the actual Baron or stall, like, uh, give it to them and then do it after. You can, you want you don't want to clear that. You see, I was stealth, so I was just trying to keep myself that way. But okay, they didn't do Baron. I bought a blue pot because I thought that maybe the next fight would be important, and having 800 AP right now is gonna be very good. There's no way Yasuo keeps pushing. He's just gonna go to Baron, isn't he? He's not even on Grom. A lot of people wait inside this brush, so that's like what I'm waiting to see. <laughs> Him just to pop up, but he didn't. Oh, he did Scuttle Crab. That's what saw me. Alright, cool. Mm, them having that... Wind wall is so annoying. 
She might be dead. Yeah, she did die there. I almost died too, though. That's very close. Got that guy too. Alright, it should be I maybe over. It depends on if they can just wave clear this. I should have never used my W here. I should have saved it to slow them. Although if I use my W, uh, I do like... The problem is I can't hit the, I can't hit the thing now. But I'm like getting them really low to the point that I can just kill. Like that's fine. Please hit it, just hit it. I'm tanking. Okay, cool, it's over. Yeah, I only hit like a couple auto attacks onto the Jinx. And then uh, I figure that the poison, it does a lot now. So that will kill her. I had to flash out of the Yasuo EQ because I think he has ultimate and he would have knocked me up and killed me. So uh, yeah, that was AP Twitch. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. He's a pretty fun pick because it's a very unique play style around the whole putting stacks onto people and then uh, using your expunge to detonate it. It's kind of a different style of gameplay, but it's pretty enjoyable. So thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, drop a like on the video or subscribe if you uh, want to see more. So thanks for watching once again. I'll see you guys in the next commentary for ball.